exactly how they were, but uh, so the result of race 22, a win for number 175, Keith Potts, second 66, Stephen King, third 37, uh, 37, David Holman, fourth 26, Mark Giles, fifth 131, Alan Carman, sixth 180, Richard Sims, seventh 187, Justin Shaw, eighth 251, uh, David Ivey, and ninth was 174, Robin Pilcher. Winner's time, 1 minute 35.25 seconds, and they're away on the next one, over to Martin. They're quick, and it's Jonathan Duke away. Race 23 it is, and it's Jonathan Duke on the West Lake in front from David Mears there in second place, and David Mears is like a homing pigeon. He's coming down there fast on Jonathan Duke. Down that straight they come, then it's 25, Jonathan Duke. From number 139, David Mears, then Arthur Levin, then Neil Evans, Colin Beach, and Steve Smith, and Alan Dan. Jonathan Duke, seems to be running away with this one. An X, 350cc, South Eastern Centre Champion, and you can see why. As he leads the pack. Jonathan Duke. Jonathan Duke comes down there then, very, very fast. And David Mears on another West Lake in second. Arthur Libby's on the Bull Targo, Neil Emmett on another West Lake. And 61, Colin Beaches. Then number 47, Steve Smith, and 20, Anna Dan. Then Jonathan Duke is half a lap in front of the tail enders. He's really going for gold. He's coming down there fast and furious. Takes the last lap flag. That's Jonathan Duke from David Mears in second. Another uh, South East Contender Championship runner. Arthur Levin is in third, Neil Emmett in fourth, Colin Beach in there in fifth. And the battle coming on for last place between Steve Smith and Alan Dan. So Jonathan Duke putting out all the stops, feet on the footrest, looks like Roland used to in his heyday, right in the same number. A win there for number 25, Jonathan Duke from 139, David Mears. Then 71 Arthur Levin and 58 Neil Emmett. And we have a faller up on the top turn there. Dan and six, number 47, Steve Smith. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 33.50 seconds. 25, 139, 71, 58, 20 and 47. Winner's time, 1 minute 33.50 seconds. And I think we... I didn't see it. We'll add 61 in the seventh place. We wasn't sure whether he had outside assistance or not, but uh, we're giving him the benefit of the doubt there. Race number 24 on the line then. We're, sorry, race 25. We're back with the 500 cc's, the half litre, big boys. And they're underway. Up that first straight they go. Looks like Alan Farmer that takes the early lead with Chris Tritton there in second place. And Steve Schofield, it looks like, in third. Winner in number two, Trevor Banks. 
They seem a little bit slow coming to the line, but they're just getting there now. So in this one, number two, Trevor Banks. 37, David Homan. 11, David Kniebel. Sure, that should be Graham Kniebel. But anyway, 187, Justin Shaw. 174, Robin Pelcher. Number 240, another up-and-coming young rider, Ben Howe. 46, the very fast Cornishman, Will James. 215, favourite in the South Eastern Centre, Steve Wilson. Another South Eastern Centre favourite, 121, Alan Harmer. And from Essex, number 14, Paul Johnson. That's the lineup for race number 26. As I said, uh, number two there, Trevor Banks. Having one win to his credit already this afternoon. This is his second ride. See if he can repeat that. But Will James will be out to better his earlier second position. And I'm sure the others will be in just as determined mood. So they're under starters orders. The clouds of smoke go out the back and they're away. A nice even break as they go up that first straight. Trevor Banks at the moment sitting in second come third position. It's Will James that made the start. Will James, the Cornishman, drifted a little bit wide. Trevor Banks coming up on the inside. What will happen here? Yes, Trevor Banks takes the lead from wheel in the air. Will James from that little one. Tries everything he knows. Goes in on the now side line. Cuts up on the inside and takes Trevor Banks. So it's Will James from Trevor Banks. who has got a big wheelie on and struggles to keep it under control. From then, John, uh, Steve Wilson there in third place. Round they come then. Tight on the pegs. Will James from Trevor Banks. From Steve Wilson, from Alan Harmer. Will James gets it all his own way. He's had a few problems with that watch, and they're getting them sorted out. And it certainly seems to be handling okay today. When I sorted the sorcery system in the early days and uh, had a few modifications to make, but we'll see as the season goes on as they get that machine together. But it's certainly flying at the moment. 46, Will James on the GM watch from Trevor Banks in second place. And then Steve Wilson. Alan Harmer, Paul Johnson, Robin Pilcher. So Will James looks like getting his first win of the afternoon as the checkered flag comes out in readiness. This is the last turn for the last time. A little bit of a bump developing in the middle of that turn. But it's 46, Will James that wins from Trevor Banks there in second place. Quite contented with his good ride. In third place was Steve Wilson. Then we got Alan Harmer. Then Paul Johnson. Robin Pelcher and Graham Kneeball. 14, Paul Johnson. 6, 174, Robin Pilcher. And 7th, number 11, Gary Kneeball. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 28.79 seconds. 46, 2, 215, 121, 14, 174, and 11. Winner's time, 1 minute 28.79 seconds. Over to Martin, they're on the line already with Paul Hurry in this one, so it should be another good one, and Martin Hagen. Race 27 then, as Don just said, 86, Paul Hurry, the young pretender if you like, and Martin Hagen now becoming somewhat of a veteran, but he probably won't thank me for saying that. Paul Hurry on a tender 16 years of age, and Martin Hagen on some 30 plus. And they're well away, and it's Martin Hagen that gets there first, with Duncan Tollest in second place. Paul Hurry looks like being back in fourth at the moment. Round they come then, Martin Hagen it is. From Duncan Tollest, from Ricky Sanford. Number 72, then 86, Paul Hurry. Martin Hagen drifts a little bit wide, he's up a bit, but he's got plenty of time. Martin Hagen going very, very well this afternoon. He won the first time out and he's winning again now. So that'll be two wins to his credit. He'll be on a maximum if he can stay there. Duncan Collins holding a good second. Then Ricky Sanford. Then number 72, Kevin Taker. And then Paul Hurry. Fresh up from the juniors. Also doing speedway already. So Martin Hagen takes the last lap flag. That's one lap from victory from Duncan Thomas and Ricky Sanford. Paul Hurry takes Kevin Jaeger as they go down that straight. Paul Hurry a little bit wide round that turn. But he gets the motor on early and drives round the outside. So it's Martin Hagen that's coming up to take his second win of the afternoon. He's in scintillating form. He's powering towards that checkered flag. It's a win for number one, Martin Hagen. 
Jason Forbes, Mike Smith, John Gibbons, Dave Ivey, Adrian Hahn, and Andrew Forbes. Well, Richie Knight certainly making his presence felt here this afternoon, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. 606, Stephen Jeffries. 4th, 147, Jason Steele. 5th, 42, Jason Forbes. 6th, 54, Mike Smith. 7th, 181, Jonathan Gibbons. 8th, 251, David Ivey. 9th, number 12, Adrian Harden. And 10th, 15, winner's time, 1 minute 34.41 seconds over to Martin. Race 30 underway there, a little bit sharp off the mark that time. Caught Don in the middle of his speech, but never mind, I'm sure he'll give you that result again in a moment. Round they come then, round that top turn. Who is it this time? It's 44 Dean Camia, twice a winner on his third ride and in line for his third win. It's Keith Richards there in second and it's Bill Ramson in third. Keith Richards has only gained on Dean Camia around the, the turn, but as they hit the straight, Dean Camia pulls away, pulls a wheelie and is on his way to his third win of the afternoon. That'll be another hat-trick. So it'll be a hat-trick for Richie Knight and a hat-trick for Dean Camier if he can hold this performance. What a final we're about to see. So it's Dean Camier from the Rocky Martin. Good grass track country. Get him out on the grass early down there. Dean Camier it is. From Keith Richards in second place, then Phil Ranson and Bernie Edwards. And around the turn they come, the last map flag, it's one lap away from his hat-trick. It's 44, Dean Camier from 143, Keith Richards from 6, Phil Ranson from 115, Bernie Edwards and Robin Pilcher. So up that long straight for the last time, another little wheeling, and into the last turn. Out on his own, way out in front. Better clock the man's time, better compare times, because these boys are going to be very, very close in the final. The track of flag goes, and that's a hat-trick of wins for number 44, Dean Camier. Followed home by 143, Keith Richards. Then number 6, Phil Ranson. 115, Bernie Edwards. Robin Pilcher. Robert Andrews. And Alan Sands. Well, what consistent performing we've had here this afternoon. Like Martin said, we've got uh, two other men to try and get their maximums as well. They're on the line for the next one. And this time it's got to be John Dormer. So we'll see. And away they go. Up that first straight, John Dormer breaks first and early with Maxine Hill in second place. Maxine is second place. It looks a little bit debatable as they come round that turn there together, but uh, she cracks the front on early and takes the other man out wide. So it's 76, John Dormer from 07, Maxine Hill, then Terry Giles. Terry Giles fights hard to take that second place and goes into that turn ahead of young Maxine, who, as we said earlier, is in her retirement day, and it's sorry to see her go. But John Dormer, wheelie again over his favourite lump out there in that straight, comes round the turn, nice tight line. Gets the throttle on early, round he comes, it's 76, John Dormer, he's had two rides and two wins, this is the third ride, will it be his third win? Will he join the others on maximums into the final? John Dormer, Terry Giles, Maxine Hill, and a long way back there through the fourth man. Round they come, it's 76, John Dormer. Squirts the throttle on hard out of that turn, takes the last lap flag, he's one lap away from being our third hat-trick. Finally. So round he goes. Very, very fast indeed. John Dormer, sure to start, one of the favourites. Got to be one of the four favourites for the final. Round he comes and he's got a bit between his teeth. He's going for gold. John Dormer wins. Terry Giles gets second. Maxine Hill takes third. Interesting to note that John Dormer was thinking of retiring last season, but he had such a disastrous British final. He decided he's just got to have one more go at that. So he's out for another season. And that's Bill Sims. That's Sean Neal. Colin Beachin. And then number 32, Graham Legg. And 7.32, Graham Legg. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 35.14 seconds. 76, 
300 07 180 77 61 and 32. Winners time 1 minute 35.14 and over to Martin because they're on the line already. Race number 32, then we're looking for Stephen Hines to complete our maximum men for the final. And there's a nice even break. Somebody's gone off the back on the line there, but uh, the race continues. And it's Stuart Laird. He looks like he's got away this time. Stephen Hines just come from through, through from third to second place and lines up Stuart Laird. Let's see what happens in this one. Is he going to be the one that fails out of the four? It's Stuart Laird that leads. Fresh up from the juniors in his first season of senior racing. It's Stuart Laird then, from 23, Stephen Hines. Stephen Hines got the inside line, but not quick enough there. He's got a little bit more work to do than that if he wants to get it. And another John Dormer type wheelie over the hump. Stuart Laird then, leads from Stephen Hines in second. Stephen Hines piles on the pressure, comes up on the inside. Has he got him or hasn't he? Yes, he's managed to get by, but it's only just Stuart Laird not giving up at that. Stuart Laird tries to go around the outside of Stephen Hines, but it's Stephen Hines now. Our fourth maximum man trying to get into that final on maximum points, looking down at the machine as if he's got trouble, but I think he just missed the gear. Another wheelie over the John Dormer hump, and round they come. Tight line there, drifts a little bit wide. Stuart Laird on the inside, but not quick enough. They take the last lap flag. It's Stephen Hines from Stuart Laird. What a promising youngster we have there. This is only his first outing on the senior grass. We've got a lot to look forward to. He's gone around the outside of Stephen Hines, and Stephen Hines comes back up on the inside. The battle isn't over yet. Another wheelie over that hump, and into the last turn. And into the last turn, it's side by side like they were on the start line. Stuart Laird slips a little bit. Stephen Hines comes across the line for the win. Stuart Laird must get full praise for his hard try in second place. Then Mark Giles. Alan Carmen. Arthur Living and Colin Osborne. Well, what spectacular action that was. Stuart Laird showing us early on in his career the kind of thing he's capable of. And I'm sure we've got a future champion in that lad. 96 and 47. No other finishers. Winner's time, 1 minute 36.50. Back to the third legs of the right-hand side cars. And uh, we've got an interesting one here with Roger Mieser, Russell Ng, and Mark Suda and Jason Mullet. Over to Martin. Yeah, he's going to have a job to see the line this time. Could be on one of those spectators, one or two of those spectators there to just step back a little bit. Can't quite see the start line. Sorry and all that, but you know, if you could just step back, I can't see the line. That's oh, it's marvellous. That's lovely. I can see it all now, some of it. Thank you very much. Yes, those riders coming into the line, and we've got a really interesting one here because we've got 51 Roger Misa on a maximum of 12 points going out in this one. With rustling there on 10 points. In joint third place at the moment on points. So they're away, and it looks like Roger Misa making it. So they're on their way round again. Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey. Are oh, they going to be maximum men into the final? Not if Russelling has his way. Did you see the way he crept up on the back wheel of Roger Mieser there? If he can do that like that on the last lap, he'll stand a chance of winning. Round they come then. Jason Mullet and Kevin Bovis, who seem to have got slightly slower as the day's gone on. They had a terrific first ride, but they're struggling now at the back of the pack.
Jason Mullett and Kev Bovis pick up a third position. Nephon Brussling and Paul Urietz in a good second place. And we have a cartwheeling machine down the track there. I didn't quite see who it was. Jason Mullett and Kev Bovis pick up a third position. Wilson, I think, still pushing. Rob Wilson's a sheep pie up in the line. He was only joking all the way along, you see. Just getting them all worried. Let's hope Rob Wilson gets it together this time. He's had two unfortunate rides. Let's, uh, let's see if he can win this one. Race number 34 is underway, and they've got that first race. It's Rob Wilson is now there for the Syrian Rob Wilson again out of the running. Jerry Adams then. In front from Mick Cameron and Paul Randall there in second place. Rest of his line from Jerry Adams and Mick Cameron. And Sean Pittock in front. Mick Cameron and Paul Randall challenging hard there. That's where they've done the overtaking in their previous race and they look to be sizing Jerry Adams up for that spot next time round. The rest of the field are chopping and changing places. Jerry Adams, Sean Pettock, Sean Pettock, Jerry Adams, Sean Pettock, Jerry Adams, Sean Pettock, 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 Round they come, round this turn, then they'll see that last that flag. Right in the front line, drift a little bit wide. One turn and they're home and dry. They're second win of the afternoon. The McCameron's been very consistently scoring all afternoon. I'm sure they'll both be in the final. Round they come, Harris, a little bit wide, but they're getting there. McCameron's really close to but it's not enough. It's a win for Jerry Adams and Sean Pitt. John Kirk bring up the rear, Alan Cave, then Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. That's the way they come out of that first turn, but uh, Stephen Turner slips back to fourth at the hands of John Halsey. So all rise on the front line and it's Pete Colvin and Gary Pete. Stay in front they are, round that corner they go. And they nasty, nasty, and it flips. And unfortunately, Pete Colvin and Gary Pease go over. The red flags are up, the race is being stopped in the interest of safety. Front they are, round that corner they go. And they nasty, nasty, and it flips. And unfortunately, Pete Colvin and Gary Pease go over. The red flags are up, the race is being stopped in the interest of safety. So it'll be time to go back and do it all again in a moment. Another brilliant start there by Dave Steer and Alan Cave and by Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. They're really going for gold down that back straight now. Two very, very quick bikes up at the front of the field. And no doubt some quick ones behind as well with John Alsey and Chris Skipper coming up in there. Dave Steer holds it tight on that top turn. That's where Pete Colvin started to get into trouble. But uh, Dave Steer's round and OK. Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby still in a good second. Then that's John Olsey and Chris Skipper in third. Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane in fourth. Only four runners remain in this one. Dave Steer's... Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane.
Brace Steer and Alan Kay with Stephen Turner and Tony Brace. We try and everything they know to come on terms, but they lose a little bit of ground down that straight. Told him to put another tooth on that gearbox, brought it in the week. They never listen to me. Round they come, very fast round that turn. Winding it up now. Brace Steer Well, race 36 it is, and as Don says, I believe there will be only two of the three races, but uh, who runs in which one? Your guess is as good as mine. We have to pick that up as they leave the line. Looks like number 26, Mark Giles, is down there with that fluorescent green crash helmet. So what a good afternoon's entertainment we've had here. We've had some superb solo and some superb sidecar grass track action. And it's been fun all the way. They leave the line, they go up that first straight. That looks like it's Keith Potts that goes into an early lead again, pulling wheelies on the John Dorma hump. Round he comes, 175. Keith Potts from Mark Giles in second place. Then they look like Alan Carmen and Phil Ranson. And there they come, there it is, 175. Keith Potts, 26. Mark Giles and Alan Carmen, Phil Ranson, David Homan, Robin Robert Zilcher, and Shane Ivey.
in four, in the eleventh, in fifth, and Alan Dan bringing up the rear, in six five. So a welcome return for Jonathan Duke. Pleased to see him back in. Fourth, 71, Arthur Livings. Fifth, 58, Neil Emmett. And sixth, number 20, Alan Dan. No other finishers. Winner's time, 1 minute 35.17 seconds. Again, 25, 139, 66, 71, 58, and 20. No other finishers. Winner's time, 1 minute 35.17. Over to Martin for the 500s. We got Martin Hagen and Trevor Banks in this run. And away they go. Very, very fast away. Martin Hagen and Trevor Banks. Martin Hagen goes in on 20 points. He's on a maximum. Trevor Banks is on 19. So, round they come. Very quick indeed. Trevor Banks takes the inside line alongside Martin Hagen and actually goes by. So it's Trevor Banks in the lead. Takes Martin Hagen a little bit wide on that turn. Martin Hagen comes back to the inside to try and get up the inside of Trevor and he does so. Martin Hagen takes Trevor Banks. Trevor Banks there. Wondered where he came from and sort of thought, well, there's no stopping that man, but I'm going after him. So round they come. It's number one, Martin Hagen. From number two, Trevor Banks. In 04, Ricky Sanford putting in another good appearance in third place. Then Mark Stokes, then John Cook, then Terry Mutton. But Martin Hagen has a quick look over his shoulder to see where Banks is. He knows he wouldn't be far away. But Trevor knows he can get into the final on a win in two seconds. So he's not going to break his neck now. He'll wait until the final to put in his maximum effort. But Martin Hagen's got maximum points. If he can just hold on for one more lap. So number one, Martin Hagen. And number two, Trevor Banks. A lot of years grass track experience between them. They're really going for it here this afternoon. Terry Mussett retires to the centre green with problems. Adrian Harden takes his last lap flag, but it's a win all the way for number one, the maximum man, Martin Hagen. From number two, Trevor Banks there in second. Ricky Sanford gets third. Mark Scopes fourth. Then John Cook. Seven point oh one seconds. One, two, oh four, twenty one, seven and twelve. Winners time, one minute twenty seven point oh one seconds. Over to Martin as they come onto the line. And who we've got Steve Schofield, Paul Hurry in this one, so it should be another good one. Yes, race forty it is. We've got young Paul Hurry there. In at the deep end with the senior boys, Ben Howe, another improving young rider. Paul Smith, number 70. Can't remember seeing him today yet. Perhaps he isn't here. But, uh, number three, Steve Schofield, certainly the favourite for this one. 214, John Wilson, he's always there and thereabouts. At 72, Kevin Tager, he's in. He's had a good, few good rides here this afternoon. The tapes go and somebody gets nearly off the back of it, sits back on it as a way, but he's given himself a drastic last place start. She tries to catch up with the rest of the field, but Steve Schofield, the Mitchum Marvel, he's out in front and he knows where he's going. Steve Schofield, then Nathan Morton in second, then Kevin Tager, then John Wilson. That's the order as they go into that turn. But Steve Schofield looking every bit the master of that at the moment. A couple of bikes there get caught up together and nearly through the ropes, but they seem to have sorted themselves out. So round the turn they come, it's number three, Steve Schofield. From Kevin Sager and from Belcher and Paul Johnson. Steve Schofield rides on without a know or a care of what's behind him. He's on his way to victory. On 19 points before this race, he'll be on 29 after this one. If he can just stay in front for one more lap, that's Steve Schofield. From Kevin Tager, from Paul Hurry. Paul Hurry gets a nice good ride in there, he's up to third place. Not the best of starters, that young boy, and he's got a lot of future, a lot of prospects in front of him. Paul Hurry. In incredible third place at the moment. John Wilson there, out with problems. No problems for the winner. Checkered flag goes for number three, Steve Schofield. Then Kevin Tager, then Paul Hurry, fighting back from a bad start. Robin Porcher, Paul Johnson, and Dean Norton. Michael Randall. And Nathan Morton bringing up the rear.
that's another brilliant right there for Steve Schofield. Certainly putting himself into the final with a good chance. 3, 72, 86, 174, 14, 971, 620 and 51. Winners time, 1 minute 31.76 seconds. On we go with race number 41 and uh, another good line-up in this one. It's 25, Jonathan Dukesdale. I don't remember seeing him on a 500 here this afternoon. I think he's only got the 350cc machine with him. But number 17, Joe Screen, must start favourite. <laughs> number 17, Joe Screen is away well. He's in second spot there at the moment. And uh, Duncan Tollis right alongside. Joe Screen squirted a bit harder out of the turn. It looks like he's got his nose in front, but Duncan Tollis cuts up on the inside. No, it's Joe Screen from Duncan Tollis, from Colin White and Alan Harmer. Green, very pretty to watch. Has he got time for the weekend this time? There he goes. 17, Joe Green, followed by Colin White in second place, and Duncan Tollers goes back to third. Colin White tries hard to catch up with the blind Joe Green. He's a man they all want to beat. Had a good win at Go Vale the other week, and uh, certainly on the form. As Don said, he's been scoring very well for Bellevue. Top point scorer on more than one occasion. Rudy going to gold here this afternoon, but Colin White hasn't given up. He's certainly trying his hardest to put one over on Joe Screen. What a thing to go over and say tonight. I'll put one over Joe Screen. There he comes up the inside and he's gone past. Down into that next turn they go. Joe Screen and Colin White side by side. Duncan Thomas is third. Joe Screen gets the wide line, gets the motor on early, but Colin White still challenging hard. He's doing everything he knows to try and come on terms with the superstar. So the checkered flag comes out this time and it's Joe Screen all the way. Joe Screen, will we get a victory wheelie? No, he was concentrating a bit harder that time. Under pressure from Colin White. In third place there, number 74, Duncan Toller. Then number 121, Alan Harmer. 6, 1, 4, 7, Jason Steele. 7, 1, 7, 4. 8, 1, 4, 6. 9, 54 and 10, 61. Winner's time, 1 minute 38.70 seconds. Again quickly, 6, 131, 606, 71, 115, 147, 174, 146, 54 and 61. Winner's time, 1 minute 38.70 seconds. Over to Martin because they're congregating on the line for the A final and this should be a cracker. Don't forget we had four maximums in the legs from both uh, Dean Camier, John Dormer, uh, Stephen Hines and Richie Knight. Over to Martin. Yeah, race 44 and it should be a ding-dong battle. Four maximum men go in this, as Don just said. And uh, Well, I don't really want to put my money on anybody, but I think John Dormer's the fastest man. It's just that how fast, how hard was Richie Knight trying in just qualifying legs? This is always the point. That 4-4-4, Stuart Laird, he's going to show somebody this time. There's lots of action to be had. Maxine would love to win her last ride. All action, 250cc, A final. What is going to be the outcome of this? Those riders all coming into line. They're under starters' orders. And they're away. It's the A final. They're on their way towards the first turn. John Dorm has got the best of the start. He's on his way, but Maxine Hill comes up on the inside and takes victory from him right under his nose. They go into that corner side by side, but John Dorm squirts on by. Maxine comes up on the inside again. That's trying hard. They're on their way. Stephen Hines comes up into the frame. He's passed Maxine into second place, but Maxine fights back. It's the ding dong battle is going to be there from start to finish. It's John Dormer at the moment. Stephen Hines trying to ring his nose to come on terms. Maxine holding on to third, gets pushed out into fourth. And down the field, unfortunately, goes Maxine and Stephen Hines pulling wheelers, trying to get the grip, trying to force that bike forwards. He's thrown it everywhere on that corner, but it's John Dormer all the way. John Dormer, who started favourite. Then it's Stephen Hines. And Stuart Laird, I told you he'd be there. And Dean Camier as well. Those two. The schoolboys, they're fighting out again now. They're really going for gold. Dean Cammy got the best of it in that time round. Stuart Laird a little bit on the wide side. Unlucky there. Cuts off Richie Knight. Richie Knight, one of the four times winners in the heat. But he's back a little bit here. Round they come again. And it's 76, John Dormer. From 23, Stephen Hines. Then 44, Dean Cammy. And then Stuart Laird. Then Richie Knight. 
Stuart Lee trying everything he knows all the way down from Cheshire. He's really going for it. And he's out in the loose and almost in the ropes. He's trying so hard, it's unbelievable. The man has a point to prove, but he's got a long career in which to prove it. John Dormelin on this sixth map final. Nearing now the closing stages. going strong, but it's John Dorman out in front, he's going for gold he wants to win this one he's a point to prove from the British Championships last year, and he's out to win that title this year, John Dorman squirts it out of that turn, the last lap flag awaits him, he's one lap from victory he'll be a four race winner here this afternoon, there won't be many people that can break that John Dorman, Dean Camier closing up to gap now, Dean Camier in second place and Rudy closing on John Dorman John Dormer could have to look out if he doesn't realise he's there. It's the last turn for the last time. Then John Dormer's cut it inside. Dean Camier cuts it tight as well, but overslides it. It's a good win there for John Dormer. A brave try for Dean Camier. Stephen Hines gets third. Richie Knight there in fourth. Then Stephen Syrett. Then the hard try and Stuart Laird with a great future in front of him. Then Maxine Hill, Mark Giles and Keith Richards. Well, what a final that was. John, she's finished a gallant seventh in that, in her last meeting, she's in to retirement now. So John Dormer going to be receiving his laurels from June Hurry and Lynn, sorry, Lisa Downey, I was going to call her Lynn Downey, but it's Lisa Downey. So, don't forget, give the cheers, hoots. Come on, get on those car hooters. Come on, let's hear you, Mr. Humphrey. Show your appreciation. Hoot those hooters, clap them. That's it, it's the first hooter of the day. Let's have some more of them as they go around the circuit. Two cousins from great grass track families. Sorry to see Maxine disappearing.
he'll be pleased with that one. 174 and 7. Winner's time, 1 minute 31.37 seconds. On now to the 3.50 final. And what a final we have here, 25, Jonathan Duke, who on shore went in on a maximum 30 points. 175, Keith Potts, who I feel went in on 29 points. And David Mears, and Steve King, and Mark Giles. Number 37, David Homan, I believe, is a non-starter in this one. 71, Arthur Livins, 131, Alan Harmon. Carmen, sorry, 58, Neil Emmett, and 174, Robin Pilcher. And 174, Robin Pilcher rode in race number 43, he rode in race 45, and now he's got a race in 46, and they're away. And up that straight they go. And Jonathan Duke shows out there first, he's gone into the lead. David Mears is in second, and Keith Potts is challenging hard. And they're chasing after Jonathan Duke, they catch him up into the turn, but as they come out of the turn, Jonathan Duke puts a few yards between them. It's Jonathan Duke from... Will Jones 
James has got a bit between his teeth and he's right up alongside Martin Hagen. He's gone past Steve Schofield and Joe Screen relegated to fourth position at the moment and Trevor Banks back in fifth. Well, what a turn up for the books. But those boys are coming round there very fast. It's Martin Hagen from Will James and Joe Screen's up to third. That Joe Screen go through him. Joe Screen up the second at the moment. What's Will James going to do? Can he pull past him? Joe Screen gets out in the loose, but it didn't slow him down. He looks round at uh, Will James. But it's all action on the front line. They're still going like the clappers. Martin Hagen making the most of it. He didn't like Joe Screen beating him at Yeovale, so he's going to beat Joe Screen here this afternoon. And they're well on their way. Trevor Banks there in fourth. Will James in third. Joe Screen in second. Coming up alongside Martin Hagen now. He's trying his hardest to get there. Martin Hagen looks behind and sees where he is and thinks, oh, need an extra ounce of throttle. So, round they go. Very fast indeed. It's Martin Hagen and Joe Screen on the front line. These two boys, no love lost.
Ostia, and Alan Cave. Jason Steer and Ian Wilde at the back. But that's no big achievement in an afternoon of the field. The final we've had here this afternoon. 51, we're going to be the